I'm criminal defense attorney Aaron J. Boria, and I'm walking out of the Coleman A. Young Municipal Center, the Civil Circuit Court for Wayne County. My client, her license was revoked for refusing a chemical test, and we just got the order that the judge is going to restore her driving privileges. Well, I'm back to the office now, so I'm going to fill you in on the rest of this case. So my client had gotten arrested for drinking and driving and she was asked to submit to a chemical test and according to the police officer she refused to provide a breath sample back at the police station once she had been arrested. Michigan law says that if you've been arrested for suspicion of drinking and driving then you are required to submit to a chemical test. If you fail to submit to that chemical test then Michigan law revokes your driver's license for an entire year. And in this year, you can't drive to work, you can't drive to school, you can't drive to medical appointments, nothing. It is a full one year suspension, no driving whatsoever. Now, you can challenge this issue in the Secretary of State, and I'll post the link to that video on this video so that you can see what that's about. But if you go to that hearing and you are unsuccessful, there is one last bite at the apple you can take and that is a hardship appeal to the circuit court. So in this particular case, we had had a hearing at the Secretary of State. I had a feeling we were probably gonna lose, but for strategic reasons, we requested the hearing anyway. The main reason was, was so that my client could keep her driver's license for a longer period of time before the state suspended it. So after the hearing, I filed a petition based on a hardship which essentially says that if my client is not given driving privileges for an entire year, she'll have an extreme hardship. There's nothing else that really has to be shown. Well, it has to be your first refusal of a breath test in order to seek a hardship appeal. So we went to the circuit court and we appeared in front of the judge, Daniel Hathaway, at Two Woodward Avenue in Detroit. And the attorney general that was opposing us was David Cannon. We put our argument on the record and Mr. Cannon put on his. The judge agreed that my client would have a hardship if she was not granted a license for an entire year and she was given a license so that she could drive to work, school, probation, anything like that. If you've lost your license, give me a call. To date, I have never lost a hardship appeal. You can reach me at 734-453-7806 or shoot me an email at borealaw at gmail.com. I am happy to fight for you.